Hey, Wang Fake, how are you? It's Spock. What's up? Can you guys hear me? How's my mic? Sweet! Hi, Swan. How is everybody? Daddy, what's up? How are you? How's your Wednesday? How's everybody's Wednesday? Hey, Zen, how are you? Let me get you on here one day and make some sourdough. Sister Farah, what's up? Edible Mon, how are you? Thank you, it's Spock. Papa Bear Bags, how are you? Angel, what's up, what's up, what's up? Boring, why boring? Man, this day has been non-stop. I'm good, man. Um, I'm, uh... I'm here, like I said I would be. I'm only making cookies today, nothing crazy. Where's my donut apron? This is my other apron. This is my fancy apron. Bomb two, what up? Donuts I'll wear next time. I guess next week, because next Wednesday, at one, no, I don't have a leather one. <laughs> I couldn't imagine wearing a leather apron in a kitchen. Um, what's up? That's so Derek. Um, next Wednesday, I'm going to make donuts. What's up, Dweezel? Everybody having a good day? Wish list one what, Gamer Bear? You mean the, the cha challenge? Hi, Isk. How are you? <clears throat> oh, good, good. Oh, leather. Oh, the leather apron. Yes, I could. I don't want a leather apron. <laughs> Have you ever... Oh, you're still up in that Final Fantasy fourteen. Um... That's why I don't play Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> because I feel like it would consume my life. My life. I'm not judging. I'm just speaking from... I'm not even saying it's a bad game. I'm sure it's a great game. Um, and from what I've played of it in the minimal amount, I, I like it. Um, thanks for following Jao Paulo Lifting. Uh, or Jao Paulo Efting. Um... No, there's no judgment. I just, I feel like a game like that takes a lot of dedication. Um, thanks for following Jan, Jandrock. Did I get that right? Jandrob, LC, maybe. I don't know yet. I don't know, E102, but here I am on Twitch in the flesh. Um, I've, you know, the... The leather aprons that I've worn for photo shoots, they're really heavy, and I'm too lazy for all that. So, when's the next expansion come out, Isk? Didn't they just have one? Didn't one just happen? Hey, Cedar. 
This is this is actually this is slightly denim-y in a sense. It's not denim in color, but it's um a v v v um Hi Mike Campanata, how are you today? Um Well good for all those people who love to support. There will be a new healer. No, I just I don't know, I feel like I would end up and then plus I travel too much, so I just feel like I would get behind on it in a sense. Um I need more casual games to play with other people. And feel like, okay, we need to get together on this night to make this happen. Um, thank you, Mike. How's um, Prince Pigato? What's up? Um, I did change my channel's name. That was the big topic of conversation yesterday because I, I messed up all the bot actions. Speaking of... Are all of you part of the Discord? I know Mike and Paula is. I know Edible Mon, you are. Um, Q Gamer Bear to hit that that bot. Did you guys just hear my dog hack in the background? Um, there it is. Thanks, Mike and Paula. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's on my social. We got a Twitter. We've got a YouTube. I've got a baking Instagram. Um, I'm good. I'm tired. I um, I flew back west from the East Coast, and so my time's off. And then I've been going all day, and here I am streaming. Um, did you hear Shiloh cough in the background, Dweezil? I don't. I think my mic probably picked it up. Um, yes, it, it's fixed. We're working. It's running. Um, and then I realized Gamer Bear, you know, after all of that, I realized I'm like, oh, I need to go into all of my other accounts. Um, and I had to change it. I had to go to YouTube and change it on YouTube. I had to change it on my Twitter. I had to change it on my Instagram. Um, thank you, Swan. I appreciate it. Um, so you guys ready to get started? Ready to bake some stuff? Um, if you didn't know, I'm Jack, everybody, and welcome. Um, this is a quick little, uh, baking. We're going to make some cookies today. They are gluten-free peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Um, I used to make these at my bakery back in Atlanta. Um, no, the name change wasn't fun, but it needed to happen, Gamer Bear. So hopefully it's not going to happen again. Pug at Play. We're making cookies. There is no need to do today, but next week, next Wednesday at one, I'm going to be making donuts, um, which should be interesting because of the whole camera setup thing. I think I might need to get a third camera. <laughs> so, uh, baking Shiloh, um, Yes, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Hilarious. So, gluten-free peanut butter chocolate chip cookies today. What's up, Sprite Dragon? That is what we're making. Now, don't think, because this is gluten-free, this is going to be nasty. Um, because I don't make nasty stuff. Well, I hope I don't ever make nasty. Or if I ever make nasty stuff, nobody's going to taste it or probably see it because I'm going to throw it in the garbage and it's going to be swept under the rug. Um, the only reason why these are gluten-free, because there is no flour at all in these. The protein and the peanut butter is basically the binder for these cookies. Um, and thanks for following, Shin. I appreciate it. Um, don't you dare, Azen. Don't you dare. Um, so, super easy recipe. And this is... Most cookies are using the creaming method, which is basically where you're mixing your butter and your sugar to incorporate air at the very beginning. Um, I do not have it at Wellington, um, but I will give you the amounts as I make it today. So if you've got a little pen and a paper, um, 
I will do that. So it's super easy. It's like five ingredients. Mage, what's up? Gluten-free peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. So we're going to start with, well, actually, before we start with that, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Let me get this. Oh, there goes Shiloh hacking again. Let me get rid of this cover image so you can guys see what I'm doing. Chocolate. We've got seven ounces of chocolate. So I normally like to use bar chocolate and dark chocolate because you get a more chocolatey recipe. Or, sorry, I'm reading the chat and talking. You get a more intense chocolate flavor. So dark chocolate. And let, you can use milk chocolate, but dark chocolate tastes better when you're baking really sweet things. So dark chocolate. I like to use bar chocolate, but I have chips in here. Don't judge me. Chocolate chips will work just fine. But the thing about chocolate chips is that they have emulsifiers and other ingredients that are put in the chocolate to make them hold their shape. So if you want a nice chocolatey, melty chocolate chip cookie, then use bar chocolate because it is usually just tempered chocolate and you don't have any of the emulsifiers or any of the extra stuff. So um, you can always go back to the Twitch channel and replay this. Uh, and I'll also post it to my YouTube. So you can do it there. I like to chop my chocolate. I feel like it disperses it across the cookie a little bit better. That way, um, hi circling sky, how are you? I prefer the kind that's in the grocery store that says 60% or higher at that time. I don't really care, I'm not particular. I think this is lint chocolate, which honestly, lint chocolate's fine. It's actually pretty smooth. I think this is like a 70% chocolate. And it tastes, it's very smooth, but I probably wouldn't have chosen it. But it was literally the only chocolate that Safeway had at the time that was higher than 60% and didn't have any other crazy flavors mixed in it or any of that nonsense. So, um, so yeah. So I chopped my chocolate to disperse it a little bit better. Ace and yeast. <laughs> Constantly trolling me. Hey, if you guys aren't in the Discord, Azen makes some nice bread and he does some crazy things with the bread um, that he also posts in our food channel in the Discord. Um, also, this Saturday, Community Day is back. So... If you'd like to play games from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we're going to do Community Day. That's Pacific Time. Um, we're going to do Community Day on Saturday. It looks like Mario Kart's winning. Hey, Rollins, how are you? You had to go. You, can get it from, you can't get it from the grocery store, Sister Farah. Hey, Jordan Tyler, how are you? Thank you. Hi, SLR, how are you? Hey, Mr. Brandoon. So, a rough chop. It doesn't need to be like, you don't need to pulverize it and turn it into nothingness. Just a rough chop. And I just split those out so I'm not like trying to chop two different sizes of chocolate all at the same time. Which can be a bit messy. So, I like bigger chunks. Um, you probably want to keep them somewhat within reason. Like, probably... This is probably a half inch right here or so. That's probably the biggest I'm going to leave it of all the chocolate. So nothing crazy. Hey, Sam, how are you? <laughs> no baking. Thanks, Mage Hand Sanitizer. Thanks. Why don't you go play some Balan Wonder World or something like that? So, well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for saying hi. Join the uh, join the Discord. Like, subscribe, follow. Links in the bio. All that fun stuff. Um, wait, I'm making you something for dinner, Jordan Tyler, or you're making something for me? How about I make dessert, you make dinner. Oh, 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 okay. 
I'll see how it is. All right, y'all. Chopped chocolate, seven ounces. Remember that. So, mixing bowl for my mixer. 16 ounces of brown sugar. I use dark brown. I like it a little bit more. I feel like it has, again, more flavor. You're cooking, you want flavor. So, you want fat. You want more of everything that's gonna add flavor. More chocolate, dark brown sugar, but thanks, Roland, I appreciate it. Oh, Valrona's good stuff, for sure. Um, thanks for following, Bee Bear Brother. So we've got 16 ounces of dark brown sugar. You can also use light brown sugar. It's not gonna kill it, but use brown sugar either way. And then 16 ounces of peanut butter, which is basically a small jar of peanut butter. I'm using Skippy. You can use Jif, whatever you want. I think moms choose Jif, is that what they say? Some nonsense like that. You can use Crunchy. I'm using Smooth. I will say, do not use natural peanut butter. Now this is where you want the emulsifiers to kick in. Not in your chocolate, but in your peanut butter because your peanut butter is your binding agent in this recipe. It's acting as the protein to hold it all together and all the other crazy stuff that they put in it. Um, so don't use natural peanut butter. You're gonna end up with different results and you might get some cookies that are really super spready and they're probably not gonna be as good. Just forewarning you. Choosy moms do choose that stuff, Dweezil. 16 ounces brown sugar, 16 ounces of peanut butter. So if you wanna half this recipe, just use eight and eight, or six and six. But equal parts brown sugar, peanut butter. Um, Get it all out of there. Scoop it. Get it all. Don't cheese it. Get it all out. Get most of it out, at least. Almost all of it. So typically when you make cookies that have butter, you'll cream the butter and the sugar. But this recipe has no flour and it has no butter. So we're creaming the peanut butter and the sugar instead. Penis us. You know, you can't you can't get a bunch of gay men together without um talking about such things. There goes my baking stream for all the straight people. Hey Justin, what's up? Thank you. Did you send me that Nintendo 64? I ain't seen it yet. I love fake peanut butter. Oh, I see, I see. Is that how that is? So, we got our dark, 16 ounces of dark brown sugar, 16 ounces of peanut butter. Mix on slow, do not make a mess. It does twitch a lot of. It does. As you say that, I'm pulling a hair out of the dial from my um, my mixer. So the thing here is you're creaming this, but you want to get it till it's just. Shiloh loves peanut butter. Play. Um, you want to get it till it's just slightly under mix. Do not over mix this. If you over mix this peanut butter. In the sugar, the peanut butter is going to start to separate out. You're going to start to see oil pooling in the bottom of the bowl. And the cookies will still bake, but they're going to turn out a lot darker and they're just not going to be right. So do not overmix at this point because you'll end up with some funky stuff. No, when I, when I used to have my bakery, I was constantly pulling my hair out of everything. So the hair gets in there. So just until it's together, 
and then kill it. It's almost completely mixed, but you don't want to don't don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. This is not something you want to just let go and then walk away from. So what was that? Maybe 30 seconds or something? And I scraped down once. Um, so then the next step is we're going to add one teaspoon. Let me find my teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt. And two teaspoons of baking soda. That's baking soda, not baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Barnacle Goose, what's up? YBK, what's up? So again, we undermixed it because we want to keep there's no flour in this, so normally we would we would mix the flour with the baking soda and the sh and the salt. But because there is no flour, we just have to mix it in here. So that's why we're kind of under mixing stuff because we're kind of all mixing it together here. So mix that until again, till it's just kind of incorporated. And you see how it's kind of like turning into these, it's getting lumpy and all that fun stuff. So last few ingredients, we're almost done. That is correct. That is correct. So for the last few things, two whole eggs, two whole large eggs. Another thing Shiloh is fond of. Hey, Camoso. Shiloh gets eggs every morning for breakfast. And she gets really pissed if she doesn't get her eggs. Did I say five? Did I say five? I don't remember saying five. Maybe I said five. Well, I mean, technically, you could leave out the salt. It's going to make the cookies taste better. Guess what, Azen? There's one more ingredient. <laughs> I like vanilla extract a lot, which also this is optional, but I use a tablespoon, which is also a half ounce, by the way. Um, tablespoon of vanilla extract. Get real vanilla extract. Do not get imitation vanilla. Um, don't do it. Don't do it. I know, Azen, but you, if you want to cut it down to less ingredients, it's your cookie at the end of the day. Who am I to say? Um, I'm just going to give this like a little quick mix. So this is vanilla extract, two eggs. Just to break up the yolks. And I'm kind of spilling this, so whatever. Um, all right. Throwing these in. Again, don't overmix this. When we used to, when I uh, used to make these cookies, or I would have my new employees start out at the bakery, I would have them make these cookies, and they would always overmix them. Even though I would tell them, "Don't overmix this recipe," they would end up overmixing it. Always. So again, slightly. Maybe 30 seconds. It's almost coming together. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to scrape down the sides. My vanilla extract, I use Nielsen Massey. Massey? Nelson, Nielsen, Nielsen Massey? Here. I buy a lot of it. This thing's like... This is like, what? 32 ounces? It's probably like $80. I'm not done yet. Thanks for uh, following Atlantic View. And how are you today? So, it's almost completely mixed, but guess what? We still gotta add the chocolate. Um, 
Also, a little secret. If you want to leave out like a handful of the bigger chocolate chunks, just put those to the side. The chocolate also is going to help it finish coming together, so that's why you can wait to not overmix it. So. Well, I mean, it's such an easy recipe, and I saw so many people mess up this recipe at my bakery, and I'm like, why? Why? What's up, King of Sheba Inu? So, it is all incorporated. Boom. Done. Done. We're done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Hey, Veridrazo. What's up? This is your first cooking stream. Two days in a row I got you. Two days in a row. Thanks for following Danny Vance. All right. So, this is it. I don't know how many ingredients that was. You cannot take advantage of me, Jordan Tyler. Unless you want to do the dishes, then you can totally take advantage of me. Um, it's called an air. Oh God, I can never pronounce it. Send me a message in the Discord, and I will send you what kind of mixer it is. Uh, ain't ain't anchor something anchor. <laughs> Where is it? Let me find the other component of it. Oh, I'll find it out. Let me throw these cookies in there and I'll find out what it is. That way we have something to do while they bake. It's, yeah, it's expensive. So, again, this is a two ounce cookie scoop. It's yellow. You can buy them on Amazon. Two ounces. Flatten it. See, it's nice and flat. Yes, that's right, Gamer Bear. Gamer Bear knows fucking everything. I swear to God. That man. Anchorstrom, is that how you say it? I don't know. I can say it, and then I don't ever say it, and then I forget how to say it, and then people ask me what it is, and then I'm just like, I don't know. And then I struggle with it, and then I find it again, and then I forget it again. <clears throat> yes, praise Gamer Bear for all of his knowledge. So this is a half sheet tray. Um, I don't recall the dimensions. 11 by... It's been a while since I've worked in a commercial kitchen. A full sheet is 24 inches, but no, a full sheet is 48 by 24. Hey, General Amazingness. You are still suspicious, Gamer Bear, that's for sure. I mean, it's suspicious how you know everything. And yes, I don't know if my neighbor's on this stream, but he and his partner will be getting some of these cookies. Um, I did a cookie class a couple weeks ago, and I had a bunch of these cookies. And so here we are again with more cookies. Thanks for following the Arcadian. Another thing, this cookie dough, it doesn't really freeze that well. So usually I'll make a bunch of cookies and I'll freeze them. I'll freeze the dough scooped out, but like these cookies don't freeze that well. So if you're going to make these, make them and bake them. I want to say this recipe is probably going to make 16 cookies. I've got 12 right here. So the chocolate that we held to the side... If you want to make your cookies look really 
Hey, Redwood Driver. Um, yes, you can eat this dough. So if you want to make your cookies look really great, take this extra chocolate and just stick it in the top so when they bake, you get a lot of the chocolate stays on top. And so they look really fucking good when they're baked because then you have these big ass pieces of chocolate that are, I didn't save enough, but whatever. Um, so you can see, boom. Why salt? Because it's a good counterbalance to all the sugar and it just intensifies the flavor of the cookie. Um, so these are going in 12 to 14 minutes in a 350 preheated oven. Also preheat your oven. Um, I'm going to set it for seven minutes to start. Um, Even though the peanut butter itself can be a little salty, I've found that these cookies still need a little more salt to them. So, just a little bit. You can make it without the salt. It's not going to be the end of the cookies, but I can definitely sour. What's sour? What do you mean, Sprite Dragon? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, is it dry or liquid? My fridge is small. I mean, my fridge is like a three quarter size fridge. I'm only five foot nine. Um, I do have another really good recipe for peanut butter miso cookies. Um, that shit's really good. Like really fucking good. Maybe I'll make those sometime. Maybe. But I'm only five foot nine. But yes, that's the second time I've been asked <laughs> about my fridge. But I mean, it's still like, hopefully it doesn't look like shit, but like, I still got a lot of shit in there. So, it's not like tiny, tiny. It's not crazy tiny. Yes, salt to sweet makes it makes it balance a little bit better, and it also like just I don't know. Just once you've had salty sweet things, it's kind of hard to just sweet things that are just sweet and don't have any salt to them start to taste a little flat in one note. Um, do I have a favorite, like, just straight up s'mores? Or, like, are you looking for a specific kind of s'more? Barnacle goose. <laughs> yes, Mr. Brandoon, it's sticky, it's got roaches in it, all the food is spoiled. So I ended up getting 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 cookies out of this. 17 cookies. We made those cheddar garlic, um, Ar Eric, Eric, we made those on stream. Those, um, you can actually go back on my Twitch account and see the stream where we made those cookies. Um, if you would like. So that's it, y'all. Now we just wait. These are like super easy cookies, I told you. It's not it's nothing crazy. I will probably eat one. Um maybe two. And I'll probably give the rest away to my neighbors. No, it's fine. Um I have a s'mores cookie recipe somewhere. I've made s'mores scones. 
which I think there might be a picture of those on my Instagram, on my baking Instagram. Um, and s'mores brownies. There was a period where I was kind of obsessed with s'mores and I made everything possible with s'mores that I could in a sense. Yes, Mike Empanada, all the free baked goods all the time. The s'mores scones were good, but they were like super, f they were involved. Let me just say that. I made, so it was basically a chocolate scone with chocolate chips. Uh, hit that social button, Mike Empanada or Gamer Bear. It Wellington. It should, or if not, it's on my Twitch channel. Um, yeah, Biscuit zero seven eight is my is my. Um, I'll check it, Jordan. Um, a goose taking a gander. Imagine that. Um, so it was two layers of like chocolate scones with chocolate chips. And then in the center, I did a marshmallow layer with marshmallow fluff. Um, and so it was like chocolate scone with chocolate chip, marshmallow layer, chocolate scone with chocolate chip. And then on the top for the crust, I made this, um, this like graham cracker, it was like a graham cracker topping almost kind of thing, but it was rolled out. And so it was like a layer. And then I placed that on top of everything. And then I did a graham cracker, um, graham cracker and marshmallow and chocolate chip, like streusel on top of it. So it was a lot. It took me a while to make them. Um, I... I wouldn't say I've invented anything. I usually take recipes and play with them. That's usually my biggest thing. What's up, RJ? How are you? You've had my, um, you've had my baked goods. Um, but yes, those scones, while they were very good, they were also like very fucking involved and they were kind of time consuming. So like going back, I would probably edit them in some way. So I probably wouldn't do all the layers. The outcome was good. Like out of it, I ended up making a really good base chocolate, um, scone recipe. I do not ship Neil. Um, so did I get a stretch thing? Hey, stretch. There's your stretch. That's the first uh, alarm on the oven. So we're midway through. This is what the cookies look like. You see the big piece of chocolate that's melting? You hear my crazy timer? So it's seven minutes. Rotate the pan, front to the back, back to the front. I'm gonna put them on for six more minutes. So I'm gonna bake them 13 minutes. I'd rather underbake them than overbake them. There's the flex. See how tiny my arms look here? My oven likes to sing for sure. And that's cookies, y'all. <laughs> QQ Bry, oh my god. Um, they get them whenever I bake. So if I'm doing a baking stream, they'll get they got them last Sunday. I did a big cookie class. Well, when I did the biscuits here on Twitch, they got those. And then I did um the cookie class two Sundays ago, 
or a Sunday and a half. So they got a bunch of those. They're going to get some of these. And then I have another class this Sunday that's going to be jalapeno cheddar biscuits and pimento cheese, which they will get that as well. And then, no, my neighbors don't. So actually, well, they made me ice cream one time. Um, they do actually, because the one, um, he's sometimes in the, in the streams. I don't think he's here today, but, um, but he, uh, he helped me get all my stuff set up to stream on my PC because like, I, I don't do technology. <laughs> so yes, E102 JT. They are on my YouTube channel, which you can follow, or they're on my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Wait, what are VODs? General amazingness. I mean, there's only 17 units in that building, so I think the one below me is still empty. Videos on demand for baking? Maybe. I mean, I kind of am. So, I mean, we're doing... Um... We're doing donuts next Wednesday. And that was because of the community challenge. So everybody raised enough points in here to, um, to do the... Um... Like, when you have a stream that says... Oh, uh, uh, I will. So I'm, I'm in the process of working on some things I have got, I've always, I'm always working on things. So I'm, I'm looking at doing some customizable stuff. General amazingness. We could do a collaboration where you make focaccia bread and I make something else. Um, I know gamer bear, but the thing is, as I was looking at my calendar, I'm only going to be able, I'm going to be able to bake next Wednesday. And I think I'm only going to be able to bake two Wednesdays out of June. Um, so I don't know. I don't, what I'm trying to say as I'm reading the chat and thinking at the same time is that, I don't know what my next challenge is going to be. It might not be a baking thing because I don't know what I'm going to be able to bake next month, but eventually I would like to do pizza since everybody likes pizza so much and I love pizza. So, so yeah, we could do a, um, cause you're, um, Oh, <laughs> general amazingness. I need like, everything on Animal Crossing. So the thing about pizza is that I would have to do, it wouldn't really be, I would have to do a bunch of prep in advance. And so you guys could watch me, but it wouldn't necessarily be, I'm making everything alongside because pizza dough kind of be, needs to be made like way in advance. Um, Oh shit. Yes. I would love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I've made pizza before. I, there was a period of time. So when I had my bakery, I don't know. I, it just depends on like what's out there at the time when I make the pizza, like what vegetables or meat is available. Um, yeah, I, I would have to make the dough probably the day before and have it in the fridge. Um, a non-stop, no sleep pizza stream. Um, but yeah, I could do it. It just would be in, in segments. So like I would have the dough already made, but I would make the dough with you guys. But the dough that I'm making on the channel wouldn't necessarily be the same dough that I'm actually making the pizza out of that 
time. So the pizza thing, I'm definitely down to do. It's a little more involved in a sense um, than making this. So the cookies, y'all. These are the cookies. You see the big piece of chocolate that we put on them? Look at these. No laundry streams. Jesus, no. That'd be the boringest thing ever. Also, I like to knock down my cookies. I like to knock down the pan to get the air out of them. Because I like my cookies kind of like... You see I ran out of chocolate chips on that one, but the rest has a big pieces of chocolate. So they look really pretty and nice. And so the peanut butter gets all crackly and stuff. I like my cookies a little undercooked. No, you don't need, um, you don't need the Food Network. The Food Network died a long time ago. I was actually, I was watching Chopped the other night. Now, I kind of like Chopped, but it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. What's up, Global Astro? Um, yes, I mean, I guess you could, um, I don't like crunchy cookies. Unless the cookie's supposed to be crunchy. So if it's like um, shortbread, or if it's like a really thin wafer cookie, then yes. I've got a really good... You would like Ginger Snaps Global Astro. <laughs> Least favorite cookie? Ooh, shit. I don't really like mint in my baked goods. So anything with mint in it, like mint chocolate chip? No. The tipping link is not working? Oh my god. <laughs> Just like, subscribe, or throw me some bits. Or next time, I'll, I'll fix it. Uh, biscotti? I can get behind some biscotti, but like most of the biscotti they sell in stores is gross. But um, I have a really good vegan ginger snap recipe. Again, <laughs> Global Astro, don't you dare. Um... Molasses cookies are good. No, no licorice cookies. Disgusting. I don't like licorice. I don't like mint. Um, I mean, I will eat mint, but I don't. I would never order mint. Um, man, I don't know. I don't know, Mike and Pal. I guess there's still some kinks I need to work out with this new this new uh, name change thing. Gamer Bear will help me figure it out. Is my little, um, I don't think my sub thing's working anymore either on my, I don't think my top bar is working. Because, well, I don't think I got any subscribers this one, so. Uh, fennel's okay, but I don't want fennel in my cookies. Oatmeal raisin, good if homemade, not so great if. That did work, Global Astro. Thank you. And thank you. So those are working. Okay. We got it. Fennel's good. I like fennel and tomatoes, like if it's roasted. Um, lavender shortbread. If... Just a little bit of lavender, otherwise it starts to taste like an old lady. Same with Rose. Um, I have a friend that used to work at Starbucks when I was in my 20s, and she used to make these lavender white chocolate chip cookies, which were really good, but if you put too much lavender in them... Um, thank you, Barnacle Goose. I love sushi. Um, the emote splash is... Oh, yes, it's blocked by my camera because I don't have a green screen on. I think it's all hidden. So. And I like lentils. Lentils are delicious. All right, General Amaziness. So, okay, y'all.
These cookies are going to be a little bit messy. Let me let me go get a piece of parchment paper. Here we go. Here we go. Do you guys hear my dog hacking in the background? Isn't that cute? Gamer Bear, because I have I have a big a big ass box of parchment and I don't have anywhere to put it. So it's like it's actually behind my computer desk. Shiloh loves cookies. Are you kidding? So here's these damn cookies, y'all. But do note. Yes, I do, Global Astro. So like look at these. They're good, man. They're kind of like try and get up on this camera. They're nice. They're nice. That is a fish spatula gamer bear. <laughs> How do you know all this shit? Did you go to culinary school? It's dope. This is my fish spatula from culinary school. So when you go to Art Institute, they make you buy this culinary kit and they fucking rape you for it. It's like way overpriced. And you get a fish spatula. And here's my fish spatula. So... Yeah, I can't give Shiloh this. Although she's staring at me. She's looking me down. Yeah. Chocolate is poisonous for dogs. Thanks, RJ. I appreciate it. Now I have shit all over my hands. Um... Milk chocolate less so because it actually contains less chocolate, but like dark chocolates are like not good for dogs. And they can have, like if a dog eats a little bit of chocolate, you don't really have to go any do anything crazy. It'll probably just make them sick, but it can really fuck them up. Dogs can't have onions, grapes, chocolate, garlic. Um... Some other stuff. So anyways. Thank you guys for stopping by. It's a quick stream today. Um, I'll be back. On Friday. Yes, Friday. <laughs> I'm like, Friday? Wait, let me check my schedule, y'all. Let me check my schedule. Friday the 14th. I will be streaming at 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. Pacific time. We'll be doing video games. I don't know what I'm going to play. I may go back to Chrono Trigger. I may play New Game Plus and Resident Evil 8. I may do, I don't know if I'm going to do Mass Effect, that's so Derek, because everybody else is going to be doing Mass Effect, so thanks for following Spicy Curry. Um, the problem with me streaming mainline games and not having a big following is I feel like I miss out on a lot of people catching my stuff because all the big name streamers are streaming the same games, so... Um, do not overmix, Sprite Dragon. So the problem with that is, like, I might wait and stream Mass Effect, like, a week later. 
when people are not. So I don't know. Um, no shirt and then get hair and everything. So yeah, I might, I don't know what I'm going to do, but honestly, I have no, um, what's the damn word I'm looking for y'all nostalgia for mass effect. I've never played a mass effect game. Honestly, I'm not really a big EA person. I think, you know, I feel like everybody has to pick their, pick their battles with big corporations and capitalism, but like EA is kind of slimy to me. Um, thanks Parker. Um, true. I will get my hair in there anyways. Um, I don't want to scare off the straight people though on the cooking channel. So, um, thanks Barnacle Goose. So anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do. Point being, I'll be back at 11. We have community day on Saturday. Also at 11, um, join the discord, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Um, we do giveaways and stuff. I'm going to have another giveaway soon. Um, Maybe another gaming console. I don't know. We'll see. It's in the works. Um, and, and yeah, if you like my stuff, um, consider following or subscribing. Um, I've only taught baking to employees, but I've never taught. All right, TK, I've never taught anybody like in a school. So um so yes employees all the time so anyways thanks daddy all right y'all thanks for stopping by i appreciate it and i will see you guys soon take care